Uh, hi, uh, I believe your question was about uh, when you're computing cost complexity pruning of decision trees. Like imagine you have a decision tree like this and typically pruning happens bottom up, right? Because you're most likely overfitting because of this. In the cost complexity pruning, you're trying to reduce the number of leaf nodes, right? So imagine you have a setup like this. Again, I'm just taking this setup so that it's easier to explain. So let's assume there is this tree. Okay, let's call this tree as T1, which is rooted here. There is this other tree, which is T2, right? Now, if you, again, your question from what I understood from the email is, which of these two trees would you prune? Because by pruning this tree, you can reduce or by basically removing these two leaf nodes, you're reducing the total number of leaf nodes by one. Now, given this larger tree, T, okay, let's assume this tree that is rooted here, this whole tree, let's say is capital T, this small subtree, let's call it T1, this small subtree is T2. Now, the question here is, imagine as part of cost complexity pruning, you're trying to reduce the number of leaf nodes, okay, because you have this alpha hyperparameter that you tune. Now, imagine which of these two will you actually now remove? Now, I'm going to follow the notation and equations from Wikipedia because it's one of the simplest explanations that I've seen. Okay, so let's define a bunch of terms. First, let's say error t comma s, err t s basically is, again, this could be a regression tree, classification tree, whatever error metric you use. It is that error, if you are using total tree t on data set s, right? Your error metric could be anything, mean squared error, your log loss, whatever error metric you have, right? So err t s basically stands for, it is the error of tree t on data set s. Right, whatever tree you have. Again, typically this cost complex tree pruning is used on regression trees. Okay, that's one of the major places where it's used. Now, okay, let's assume leaves T is set of all the leaf nodes in a tree T. Let's just say. Similarly, there's an other operation called prune T comma T. So what this does is, so in this case, let's assume we have prune, let's assume we have prune T comma T1. This means it is the tree that that will result if you prune this subtree, right? If you just, if you, if you remove this and if you remove this, right? By pruning this subtree, what you arrive at is the, again, this results another tree, okay? So prune T comma T is the tree resulting that, that, that will result in after pruning subtree T from the larger tree capital T. So let's use this notation. Now it's very simple, cost complexity pruning, Again, if when you have to choose between T1 and T2, it's actually very simple. Okay, so the equation from Wikipedia, I've just copied it as is. I'll explain this and break it for you. So the objective here is, in this case, what do we have? We have two subtrees because often pruning happens bottom up. So you can either prune T1 or T2. So what you do is find the subtree T. Here, this subtree could be T1 or T2. Find that subtree that minimizes this expression. Now, let's see what this expression is trying to do. So you want to, you want to find... Look at this, you want to find that subtree T, which minimizes this expression. Now, what is this expression saying? Look at this. So this is basically this first part here. This is the error that will that you will get after pruning tree T. Look at this. This is prune T comma T. So let's let's take our example, right? We have to choose between T1 and T2. So first you will plug in T1. So you will plug in T equals to T1 first. Then you will plug in T equals to T2. And you'll compute the metrics and whichever has the lower value, you'll pick that. Now, if you think logically, what is this? This is again, prune T comma T, right? So let's assume T equals to T1, right? Then what do you get? You get this subtree, you get this subtree after pruning this node and after removing these two nodes, whatever tree you're left with, that's what you will get, right? So compute the error on the pruned tree minus the error on the original tree on the same data set. Now, remember, the pruned tree has larger error, right? Remember, the pruned tree typically has larger error because the non-pruned tree, fully grown tree has lower error because you could have overfit on this data set S, right? So this is larger value. This is smaller value. So the numerator is always positive or zero sometimes, okay? Next, in the denominator, look at this. The number of leaves that you have in tree T is larger than the number of leaves that you have in the tree that you obtain after pruning T. So what, what are you trying to do here? You are saying, I want to pick that subtree, either T1 or T2, that will result in 
a good reduction of error. Look at this. You're trying to minimize this, right? Look at this. You want you 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 want your pruned tree to be as good as the original fully grown tree, right? So that's why you are minimizing the numerator, but you're trying to because this is in the numerator, you're maximizing it, which means you'll find that tree which will result in fewer leaves, but same error as the original full tree. Look at this, because you're minimizing this difference here, right? You're minimizing this difference. That means you're trying to find that, you're trying to find between this T1 and T2, you're trying to find that tree to prune whose error is as close as possible to the original fully grown tree, while you're trying to somehow minimize the number of leaves that you have, right? So this is how, again, th this is one example. At any point, if you have, if you have subtrees like this, again, oftentimes cost complexity pruning happens bottom up. And you can have all these subtrees and you can see which subtree results in the minimum value of that, that subtree you prune as you keep increasing your alpha, right? This is how cost, cost complexity pruning of decision trees. This is how you choose which subtree to prune. It's a very nice, simple metric. Again, this thing is, uh, this link is available on Wikipedia also. So you can just go to Wikipedia and just type cost complexity pruning of decision trees Wikipedia. You'll get this equation as is. Okay, so I've taken the Wikipedia link so that you can go and read it from Wikipedia also. I hope this clarifies your question.